I'll show you guys how to get EVPI, expected value of perfect information. In this situation, we have three states of nature. State of nature 1 has 25%, state of nature 2 has 45%, state of nature 3 has 30% for stocks, bonds, CDs, and a mixture of a well-diversified portfolio. For the expected market value, which is simply the state of nature is unknown, we can first solve for that. You take a sum product, all the probabilities multiplied by all the data for stocks, which gives us 850. We do the same for bonds, CDs, and mix. Take the probabilities multiplied by the returns for bonds, sum product, probabilities, comma, returns for CDs, sum product, probabilities, comma, returns for mix. Our expected market value in this situation is 850. The expected value with perfect information. In this situation, the state of nature is known. And to get that, we take the sum product of 0.25 times the highest number in this column plus 0.45 times the highest number in this column plus 0 0.30 times the highest number in this column will get expected value with perfect information of 1050. The difference between this two will be our EVPI, expected value of perfect information. So we get 200. 200 simply means this is the maximum I'll be willing to pay for perfect information.